Our first song comes from Ireland and is about a young man who leaves Ireland and goes to London and writes home his impression of that fair city. <coughs> Miss Mary McCree, Mountains of Morn, Ireland. Oh, Mary, this London's a wonderful sight with the people are working by day and by night. They don't plant potatoes nor barley nor wheat, but there's gangs of them digging for gold in the street. At least when I asked them, that's what I was told. So I just took a hand at that digging for gold. But for all that I found here, I might as well be where the mountains of morn sweep down to the sea. I believe that to write the wish you expressed as to how the fine ladies in London were stressed. Now, if you'll believe me when asked to a ball, faith, they don't wear no tops to them dresses at all. I've seen them myself, and I would not in trouble tell if they was bound for the ball or the bath. Don't be starting them fashions now, Mary McCree, where the mountains of morn sweep down to the sea. Such beautiful creatures, oh, never mind. With wonderful shapes, nature never designed. And gorgeous complexions, all roses and cream. But O'Loughlin remarks with regards to them same, that if at those roses you venture to sip, the color will all come away on your lip. So I'll wait for that wild rose that's waiting for me where the mountains of morn sweep down to the sea. Sincerely yours, John O'Loughlin. Thank you. Well, the universality of it all is really very striking. The line in the song, faith they don't wear no tops to them dresses at all, reminds me of something my father once said, who is, of course, not Irish at all. You probably know that I was born in Vienna in absolutely ghastly times. Hitler came to power. Our worlds collapsed. We fled from Vienna to France and then to England. We were all miraculously reunited in England. And then later on, my parents remained there. They became British subjects. And I came to America to do my first public recital in New York City at Town Hall. You can imagine what an exciting event that was. I had what I considered a rather scrumptious gown made, all cut out and so on. And I sent pictures home to my parents, who are very religious Jews. And my father wrote me a letter saying that he was indeed proud of my success. And he wished me further success. And he said, in fact, he hoped that my success might reach such proportions that maybe one day I would be able to afford a full dress. You see how successful I am? <laughs> well, which is a sort of a way to bring one to the songs of one's, in one's, own, of one's own heritage. To be born in Vienna has one or two advantages, especially if you know how to escape from it. But there were some real advantages, and they were that I was surrounded by beautiful music all my life. I took Schubert and Mozart and Haydn and Kurt Weill, all these people absolutely for granted. I also grew up in a deeply religious Jewish household, and so I was lucky. I learned how to speak German as well as Yiddish. So here from my Jewish heritage are some songs that have enriched my life and my career all through this long life. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and particularly the songs of my grandfather, who was a Hasidic Jew, who sang songs in order to reach God, a concept not so far from my own heart. Many of grandfather's songs had no words. They were simple Hasidic chants. Here's one of them. Bum bum, I did it. Bum bum, I 
my grandfather didn't live long enough to know that his songs were being sung in nightclubs, on the concert stage, in colleges and television, he would not have approved, you know. As a matter of fact, I remember that when I was a little girl and I showed some signs of talent, how sad he was that I was only a girl. I mean, had I been a boy, I could have been a cantor at least. This way, it's going to be totally wasted. Well, the whole family sang, and my mother sang songs, folk songs. There was one I remember in particular about a mother and her daughter, and you know the subject matter. The girl wants a man. Well, a husband in this case. It's a very old song. The question is, what kind of a husband is he to be? Well, she doesn't want a Schuster, which is a shoemaker. She doesn't want a Schneider, that's a tailor. Least of all, she wants a rabbi. I'm terribly sorry. She did, however, want a klezmer, which is a musician. And when I was a kid, I used to think that was an absolutely wonderful choice. A Schuster for a man, will ich nicht. A Schusters Tochter bin ich nicht. Nehm ich sich a Stein, setz ich sich und wein. Und alle Mädel komm raus in den Ohr, ihr bleib allein. Alle Mädel komm raus in den Ohr, ihr bleib allein. Wo sie willst du? Wo sie willst du? A Schneider für a man. A Schneider für a man. Oh ja, Schneider für a man will ich nicht. A Schneiders Tochter bin ich nicht. Nehm ich sich a Stein, setz ich sich und wein. Und alle Mädel komm raus in den Ohren, bleib allein. Alle Mädel komm raus in den Ohren, bleib allein. Was willst du? Was willst du? A Reben für a man. A Reben für a man. Oh ja, Reben für a man will ich nicht. A Rebens Tochter bin ich nicht. Nehm ich sich a Stein. Setz ihr sich und wein und alle Mädel rum raus in den Ohren, bleib allein. Alle Mädel rum raus in den Ohren, bleib allein. Was willst du? Was willst du? A Klesma für a Mann. A Klesma für a Mann. Oh ja, Klesma für a Mann will ich doch. A Klesmers Tochter bin ich doch. Sitz ich auf dem Dach und ich guck an. Und ich lach, an alle Mädel komm, Kassel, und ich bin sie gleich. Alle Mädel komm, Kassel, und ich bin sie gleich. People are always saying the Yiddish language is dead. Well, I for one am not going to let it die. But I also remember that I was on a program with Isaac Bashevis Singer, and in the question and answer period, when he was asked about the life or death of the Jewish language, Mr. Singer, in his inimitable fashion, said, well, I'll tell you. Some people say it's dying. Other people say it'll never die. 
I'm a little more conservative. I say it's very sick. Well, I thought about that, and then I thought, well, in Jewish, between being sick and dying, there's a whole lifetime, so I have nothing to worry about. <laughs> well, this kind of philosophizing is captured in a lot of uh, Yiddish folk songs. There is one called the Alte Kasche, the old question or the eternal question. The world asks the old question, tradidididom, and one answers, tradidididom. If you like, you can also say tradidom, but the question still remains, tradidididom. <laughs> Weltanalte Kasche, tralala di do di do. Freig die Weltanalte Kasche, tralala di do di do. Entfällt man tradi da di dom bom a yui a di do. Und als man will, käme noch sorgen, Traditum. Bleib doch weiter die alte Kasche, Tralala di do di do. Jim, isn't it? <clears throat>When it comes to children's songs, I really had a hard time choosing, and so we decided to choose one in the major key. That's quite an accomplishment. In the Most Yiddish songs are in, in the minor key, so we found one in the major key. It's a children's game where a, a, a lot of children are playing, and after each round, one of the children has to leave the circle, and the one who's left behind has won. Well, it's the game that's played all over the world, except, of course, these children are having very weighty discussions. Whilst they're playing, they're saying it is better to marry a malamet, that's a teacher, even if he's a cross one, than a student with torn trousers. Or it is better to marry a widower with 12 little children than a doctor with a broken down top hat. And wisdom like that. You can't really do a program of Yiddish songs without including one ecstatic wedding song. And there is this song about the mother somewhere in Eastern Europe who says, this is indeed a blessed day 
my Mazinke, my youngest daughter is getting married, so play musicians, play all you can. You, my daughter, give me a kiss and tell me that you're as happy as I am. Look, the poor people have arrived. Let's have nothing but the best for the poor. Even the old grandmother is dancing. What a day this is, so play musicians, play. <laughs> Was betten sich zu tanzen, Becker lach wie Reute Pomeranzen, Fieser lach, was betten sich zu tanzen. Ich hab sie aber kennt mit meinem Nächstdorke, sie hat gehabt am Millenäre Storke. A job hab ich gekriegen für die Grüne, als Leben soll Columbus es mir dienen. A job hab ich gekriegen für die Grüne, als Leben soll Columbus es mir dienen. 